Hello, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions. And in this video today, I'm gonna to showcase how to create a view on the surface of a part using the out of the box command. This is actually a part two video of a video that I created about a year and a half to two years ago showing the surface view macros. So if I come in here and type in surface, any applications components, there's these two old macros here that have been around and in the install of Tecla for well over 10 years. Now it looks like they've created a new command that is in the main interface. And I'm gonna show you how that works today and how to use that to connect this column to the base plate. Now what we'll do is we'll first go to the view menu here at the top of Tecla. We'll go to the new view drop down, and I'm gonna choose this on plane option. And when I do that, it'll prompt me at the lower left hand corner to select the plane or the surface of the part that I'd like to create a view from. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this web and it will generate that view for me. Now, you'll notice that it not only creates a new view, but it changes the work plane to be aligned with the part and it fits the visible work area to that part in the view. And this is great. This combines about three or four commands all into one and gets me right where I need to go in order to start modeling in a much easier 2D view. So if I come up here to the upper right and tile vertically, You'll see that I've got my 3D view, which has complex geometry and 3D space. And I don't want to have to try to model in all of that. I'm going to do that right here in a nice, simple 2D view that is aligned with that geometry. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here to the edit menu and let's do a fitting on the column. So I'll pick the column and then I'll just pick the top of the base plate there. And we'll see now that it has done the complex cut for us. It's done the cut there along that depth of the web and it fits nicely against the top of the base plate there. So that looks really good. Now when we're all done with that, we can close this down. And then at the lower left hand corner of Tecla, there's the work plane saving uh, tool here. And if you just go in that drop down, you can switch this to model origin and that will change the work plane back to global. So that makes it really easy for you to just get back to global space whenever you're ready. Now, if we wanna put in a flange plate here, what I can do is I'm gonna use the same command. I'm just gonna to go to the edit menu, or sorry, the view menu, and I'll go to the new view dropdown. I will then go to on plane. I'll activate that again, and I'll pick on the surface of the flange this time. And now you'll see that it changes the work plane, fits the work area. We also have a very small view depth here, so that way there's not a lot of stuff uh, in our way and, and visible in the view, especially if there's a lot of parts overlapping in this area. And now we've got everything we need in order to start modeling the flange plate. Flange plate. All right, so let's go ahead and tile our views vertically. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the steel menu. Here I'm gonna go ahead and use the beam command. You could use the contour plate command, whatever's easier for you. And in this particular case, I'll just use some save settings here that I've got for my flange plate. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just come in here and I'm gonna snap right at the midpoint. So I'll pick on that point there and then I'll right click and choose nearest so that way it's just going along the center line of the column there and I'll type in two feet. Now it might prompt me to expand the view depth because of the thickness of the plate so I'll just interrupt. I'll double click on the background and you can see that it, it's increased the view depth a little bit so that way I can see the plate and the column and everything going on here. Now when we look over in 3D, you're gonna see that the plate is nicely right there on the surface of the column. If you would have uh, created views, like uh, here if you right click on a part and say default views of part, that gives you four different views, but it's not necessarily aligned and on the surface plane that you want to be working with. And so this makes it hard for kind of new users when they're starting with Tecla, they're like, how do I get to that particular surface that I want in order to start working? And that is the advantage of this on plane or on surface view on plane. So there we go. Again, it's underneath new view on plane, and then you can go directly to that. Now we've got that plate in there, but let's say that we want to get a fitting or maybe we wanted to do the bevel cut for a CP weld there. Well, I'm all done with this. I'll maximize my view real quick. I'll then just go to new view on plane and I'll choose the side view here. And now I've got that aligned view with the side of the plate. I can then just come in here and I'll go to edit. I'll fit the part end. I'll pick on my uh, plate here, and I can just pick two points along the top of the base plate, and now I've got my fitting in there. And then from here, I could actually just grab this plate if I wanted to, and I could just copy that over to the other flange, and we'll just say expand again, interrupt, 
And then all I gotta really do on this is just change the on plane from left to right and say modify. And then now the material is shooting outwards. And you know, depending on whatever the engineer is telling you to do here for bolting this up, maybe these two plates need to be aligned. If that is needed, I could just grab this point here. And if I only grab that end point, instead of selecting the whole part, that's gonna only move or stretch that end of the piece. So watch this, I'm gonna actually pick there as my origin, but now I'm gonna right click and choose define temporary snap reference point. So I'll just pick right there, and then I'll come right down here perpendicular, and then it just aligns those two points there. So now I've got like basically my two plates that are required in order to weld this up and bolt it together. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this down and let's just do this one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change my work plane back to global. And let's say that I wanna put in some bolts and I just wanna be right there on that edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say edit, uh, or sorry, view, new view on plane. I'll pick the surface of that plate and now I'm directly on the surface of the plate. And again, notice due to the view depth that I'm not actually seeing the column behind that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the view depth because I do actually wanna see that. So I'm gonna say three inches and three inches here, modify, and now we see the column. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go to the steel menu, I'll go to bolt, and then I'm gonna bolt this column and this plate together. So I'll just middle mouse button once the two parts are picked. And then I can pick here, either at the work point where the plate uh, contacts the surface of the column, or if I want this to be like at the edge of the plate, then I can pick here at the midpoint right on the surface of this, and then just pick my second point, and there we go. We've got some bolts in here. I've got the two inch edge distance from the start point, and then uh, three uh, bolt spacings at three inches, and I can increase that if I need to. Let's say this is gonna be six. Looks like I need seven in there. There we go. And so now I've got basically my flange plate in there. And then if I just go back to looking at both of my views, that shows you how easy, I didn't have to worry about rotating the bolt or doing anything because the work plane and everything is aligned with that flange. My input points are nice and simply right on the face of that uh, flange plate there, or I could have put them down there on the surface of the column rather than the face of the plate, whatever is easier for you to model but that shows you how easy it is to model complex geometry using this create view on plane command.